All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to short video number two. We're gonna do one of my favorite exercises, which is doing these modified push-ups with crouching tiger, uh, eight limb pose, knees, chest, chin. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get into crouching tiger from downward facing dog, so let's go ahead and meet in downward facing dog. <clears throat> All right, so, and if you want to, to get into our downward facing dog, let's actually start in a quick child's pose. So come into child's pose, and if you haven't done child's pose before, um, if this is somehow your first video, I'll just break down child's pose really quickly just in case. So go ahead, have your, your hands shoulder width apart out in front of you, hands are shoulder width apart out in front of you, and you're just going to send your tailbone back towards your heels. Good. And actually make sure your shoulders are plugged into your shoulder sockets. The shoulders are away from the ears. Just elongating the spine. Let's take just a couple of breaths here. All right. So let's go ahead, come into downward facing dog from child's pose. You're going to go ahead, tuck your toes, and when you're ready, go ahead, engage your arms, engage your core, and then when you're ready, let's lift the knees off the mat, send the tailbone up into the sky, sending your hips up into the sky, look back, make sure your feet are hip width apart, and I'm doing a beginner's downward facing dog, so my feet are hip width apart, my heels are not on the mat. My heels are not on the mat, and I have a nice bend in the knees, a nice bend in the knees to support my hamstrings and support my lower back, especially if you have some lower back pain. So let's take just a couple breaths here in Downward Facing Dog. Let's bend the knees. So you'll bend, go ahead and bend your right knee, you kind of uh, extend your left leg, and let's just walk out your dog, just switching that up, bending and extending the legs while still rotating your hips up into the sky, rotating your tailbone up. Good. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead and let's come back to both heels, just neutral, and your downward facing dog. On exhale, let's drop the knees down, and you're in this kind of modern, not, not tabletop position because your hands aren't back underneath your shoulders, but we're getting set up to go into crouching tiger. So here we go for crouching tiger and the crouching tiger push-up. You'll come forward. So it's, I'm not in a tabletop position, you can see. You're gonna come forward and on an exhale, you're gonna keep your toes planted onto the mat. Feet are flexed, toes are planted onto the mat. Knees stay glued to the mat and your tailbone's gonna stay up. And you're gonna slowly bend your elbows, keeping your tailbone up, coming down, Elbows stay to the inside of the body, shoulders back towards the ears, and here we are. And then, and you don't, don't necessarily let your chest drop all the way down where you can. And here we go, we're gonna come back up, we're gonna push back up, engage your core, inhale, come back up. This time, I went a little bit all the way down. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, it's totally fine if you did too, nothing bad could happen. Uh, but for the exercise of doing these crouching tiger push-ups, when we come down, I don't want you to let the chest lower down all the way. So here we go, like this. And you can actually just sit back and watch this for a second. On an exhale, I'm going to exhale, come down. Inhale, come back up. So I'm not lowering all the way down like you would have, as if you were going to come crouching tiger into Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. So we're going to, again, when you're ready, come back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, I'm using my core coming down. Inhale, using my core coming up. Exhale. Inhale. And let's try and just do two more. Exhale, my chest drops right in between my hands. Inhale, come back up. Last one, slowly using your core, helping you come down, chest in between the hands. Inhale, push back up. And then let's exhale. 
press back into child's pose. So good. <clears throat> Don't just relax in the child's pose. Let your arms just relax. Relax down on the ground. Let them just melt. Your breath sped up a little bit doing the crouching tiger push-ups. Just come back to a natural breath and you just melt into the mat. I know my heart's racing a little bit. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead and you'll bring your hands back towards your knees to come up to an easy sit from child's pose. And there we go, guys. Our crouching tiger push-ups. Woo!